Hello, my crafty friends. Welcome to Stamp with Tia. I am Tia Woodward. I'm located in Vancouver, Washington in the United States, and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I, this is a side gig for me. I absolutely love it. I would love to turn it into a bigger uh, revenue making situation for me but at the moment, it's a side gig. So here I am. I'm super excited to be here with you today. I have, it's actually a fairly simple card. And I'm inspired, I was inspired by this card that I made when I first joined Stampin' Up. This was like the second stamp set that I bought. It was during Celebration. I, so I, I believe this was in the mini catalog. It might have been the celebration um, stamp set. I can't remember if it was, which it was, but I know it was in that time frame. And um, I was really getting into playing with ink, getting really inky and using different methods of applying ink. Back then we had Brayer sponges. And I remember that I used a little bit of that on here. I used um, sponge daubers and I created this card and I, I was just in love with it. Well, when the uniquely artistic stamp set came out, that was the first thing I thought of was this card. So today we're making, it's a, I mean, it's a little different, but we're making this card. And it's, I've applied ink, I've heat embossed, and hi, Andy. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I love yellow. <laughs> yellow is, is the color of sunshine and happy. Um, and wearing, I'm, today I'm wearing my joy necklace. Well, I wear it almost every day, but let's see. Do it, there are other, other comments I just realized. Okay. So, um, so here, this is the card that inspired uh, again, this was almost three years ago, and then this is the card that we're making today. So, um, and I'm not really shaking. I think that was just the angle that I was holding the card. Um, before we get into that, and that's the only card I'm making, I'm just going to make that one. It's, uh, and, and I'll just go through my thought process with you. But before I do, there's a couple things I want to go over with you. The biggest thing, I mean, it's all big, right? But the very, very biggest thing is that tomorrow we've got free shipping on orders of $75 or more. So if you have a wish list going, tomorrow's a really good day to tap into that. Might offset that, you know, gas bill or grocery bill or something like that. We, you know, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm looking for any and every place I possibly can to squeeze a nickel. So that's going on. That's tomorrow only, 24 hours, June 21st, free shipping. Another thing that's going on right now is that we still have through the end of the month, the buy one, get one half off sale on kits. And if you're not already familiar with this, it is our, our I wish I had one nearby to show you, um, but they're a box kit. They usually include the cards, the pre-cut and scored cards and envelopes, and there's usually some die cuts that are already in there. There might be stickers. It may or may not have stamping on it. Um, it all depends on what kit you select. What's really cool about this particular um, buy one, get one half off is they're gonna take the 50% off of the most expensive kit. Right? So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Stampin' Up. Let's see, what else do I want to tell you? Okay. Through July 10th, I'm sorry, I'm looking for, yep, July 10th. So between now and July 10th, there is a paper pumpkin subscription going on and it's called Sending Good Thoughts. And I'm going to read this description to you. There's no way I would have remembered it if I would have um, tried. This one says, set sail across the ocean with the Sending Good Thoughts Paper Pumpkin Kit with beauty, beautifully designed nautical imagery, a fun message in a bottle motif, and sentiments that 
our shore, our har har, to please. This month, this month's kit is full of warmth and fun. The supplies uh, to there's enough supplies to create nine cards, three each of three designs, and nine coordinating envelopes. Nautical themed cards for those who need a loving message in a bottle. Specialty dry embossed cards. So if you don't know what that is, think of an embossing folder that's gone through um, the cut and emboss machine. And that's where there's no ink or anything applied and it creates that nice texture. That's what dry embossing is. And then uh, an exclusive stamp set and a Bermuda Bay classic stamp and spot. So really cool, really, really cool. Then, so that's just, I'm, that was just me letting you know that that's available to subscribe to. Um, you can find that link at my blog. Um, it's over in the sidebar. And, and that's at tiawoodward.blogspot.com. That's my blog address. Then, another thing that's going on between now and June 30th is... I designed these three cards. I released a video last, well, actually I didn't release the video. I think it was until yesterday. Saturday? Yesterday, I think it was yesterday. <laughs> I'm losing track. Anyway, but I did the video, recorded the video last Thursday. Um, if you spend $35 or more between now and the end of the month, I will send you the make and take kits to make these cards. What those would include is your card stock. So your card bases, any matting that's underneath your DSP, it would include your DSP. It would include the card stock for you to stamp your own image here. You would need to color in your own flowers. It would include your bow with, um, I pre pre-tie your bows for you. It would include, there's some gems on here, it would include that. On here, it would include all those same things except what's different about this card is that this one was fussy cut out of a piece of designer series paper, so I would send you a piece of designer series paper for you to fussy cut. And then there's a couple of extra um, leave, leaves on here. You would need to have the stamp set and die cut those yourself. I can't send any stamped images. Anyway, and then this is um, actually black and white paper and you would color this in yourself. And then I would send you the cardstock for you to stamp and fussy cut your own sentiment. And then all the same here, except this, I would send you a piece of cardstock big enough to stamp and die cut your flower and your, your leaves, as well as your sentiment. So that's $35 or more. And $50 or more, I've got a tutorial bundle to, that I can um, send you that's got 37 projects. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, I'm gonna set all of that aside so we can get more, cl more closer to the fun stuff. I am going to turn my camera down and I'm gonna show you um, a couple of cards. I participate in a swap group and this last month, I, I don't always love the swaps that I receive um, I'm just really super fussy that way, but this last month or this month, I loved all of them, all of them. <laughs> so each time that I come live, I'm going to show you, um, a few at a time. I'm not going to take a lot of time. I don't want to, I don't want to, um, because you're here to watch me make a card, right? But I do want to share these with you because these are things that are in the catalog that you might be interested in. And some of these are things that um, is maybe not a way that I would demonstrate it, but it's still quite lovely. So um, I want to expose you to something more than just me. Um, and then so the three that I picked today, I picked because I ran out of time to look everything up in the catalog. And so I picked the ones that I knew the names of. <laughs> I will though. I will get the catalog nearby. Oh, speaking of catalog, I missed... Huh, I had a sticky note and it must have fallen off. I'm looking for it. Um, with that free shipping tomorrow, the other thing to think about is the last chance products list is still in effect through the end of the month. 
The Last Ch Chance products list is from the January through June mini catalog. It's the things that are being retired. Many, many things are discounted. Um, so that might be a good time to tap into that. Also, um, had a friend contact me this last weekend and there were things that she was looking for that she wanted um, that were on the Last Ch Chance products list and they were gone. And so she was sad, sad, sad. Um, don't wait. I don't, I don't recommend waiting. The price isn't going to go down anymore between now and the end of the month. It, the price is what it is. So um, I recommend that you check that out. What was the other thing I was going to tell you? Uh, <clears throat> if you don't have a demonstrator, and if you're not a demonstrator, I am about to ship out the new mini catalog that starts um, in July and the celebration flyer that goes with it. So, if you want this, contact me. Stampwithtia at gmail.com and that will get you, um, or you could s send me a message on Messenger. Please make it look like it's not spam because uh, aren't we all tired of that? I'm gonna point my camera down. I hope everybody's enjoying their holiday today. All right. So here are the cards I'm gonna show you today. This one was the, oh my gosh, uh, Season in Chic, no, yes. I'm gonna look it up now because I thought I had this memorized. I made this card. <laughs> I should have it memorized. Uh, I, gosh, it's seasons in season, season, season of chic. That's what it is. And this is the coordinating designer series paper that goes with the collection. This is a distressed gold overlay that I um, used adhesive sheet on the back of before I die cut it. And then, ta-da, isn't that pretty? Then this one is the Sending Smiles Bundle. This one was made by Anne-Marie Heil. And I just love how she's used some of the embossing folder, um, the mortar, brick and mortar back here. And then she's created a focus for the flower using one of our, uh, the new, let's see. There's a new, there's a name for the new dies. It is, and I have, I'm looking it up right now. I'm almost there. They, I want to call them stylish dies or stylish. It's not, in my mind, it's not the standard name. Oh, stylish shapes. So I had that, I had that close. See, it's got the nice stitching around it. So. Pretty. And then this one is from the Awash in Beauty collection. And this is the DSP that somebody, um, yeah, I didn't have a name on this person's card. Uh, they've, they've fussy cut this out. Now, there's actually dies that you can um, die cut from the DSP. But what's fun about this card, look at this. It opens like this and then opens like this. Isn't that cool? I just think that is so cool. So I'm gonna have to case that sometime in the near future. All right, those are the three cards I wanted to show you to inspire you. Now let's get on to some fun. Move my chair out of the way. So, let's see, I feel like feel like my camera is, I'm going to adjust this just, well, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. It, it looks straight from the arm, so I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, so here's a closer up view of my inspiration card, one that I made almost three years ago. And then here's the one that I'm going to make today. 
All right, so let's get started. And this is so easy. So um, here's what I'm using. This is the Uniquely Artistic stamp set. It's got this like hibiscus flower. It's got this greenery. It's this, I always call this squishy bits. Um, it's ink that you can apply and it doesn't fit the stamp exactly and it just creates nice shading and stuff. Same here. So there's 13 stamps in here, but you'll notice there's no sentiments. Oh, I was going to show you, here they are. So here are some of the <clears throat> stamped images that I've done in the past. And I just wanted to show you um, the nice line art that's, that's in those. So stick those in there. I'm, for my sentiment, I'm pulling from the new go-to greetings. There are three different fonts here. And I have pulled from, I wanted, I originally started to pick this one here, but then I realized this line art is actually thicker than the line art in what I was going to stamp with for this greenery. So I ended up switching to this thinner line. Just letting you know what my thought process was, why I didn't pick one of these more gorgeous fonts. So I'll set those aside because I've already got all my stamps are already mounted. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, I can give you an idea here. This is a side fold card. So we've got five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. The front of the card Let's see, I feel like I got things out of, out of whack here. I did. All right, the front of the card is much smaller than I normally work with, so I'm going to double check my measurement before I give it to you. It is three and a quarter wide, the white is, by four and a half. And this is where I'm going to apply all of my ink in two different colors to get that modeled effect. And then I'm gonna mat it with a piece that's a quarter of an inch bigger in both directions. All right, so let's get to it. See, I was doing that earlier. So I am using Pacific Point and Tahitian Tide, and I'm using blending brushes this time. So a little different than what I did in the past. We didn't have the blending brushes at the time that um, I created my first card. I'm gonna start with, I'm going to start with the Tahitian Tide. Make sure I've grabbed the right. And this is a super, super juicy stamp pad, so I've gotta be careful. I'm going to just get some of my brush marks off of the off of the ink there and I'm just going to start applying some rich layers of ink. Oh, see. That's what I I get for not taking those little brush marks off. That's okay. I can I can enrich that. So I am Creating some splotchy. And now I'm going to go in with the Pacific Point. Look at how rich that is. Let's see, I better, better get these cards out of the way. I don't know why my I wonder if my whole desk has been moved back and I didn't realize it. No? Okay. So Pacific Point now. So the first color I put on was Tahitian Tide. Now I'm just gonna come in and everywhere it's white, I'm gonna start adding my Pacific Point. I will eventually get to the point of blending those two together. My 
my husband and I are getting ready to go to our first, well, it's his second, my first boat race of the year this weekend. Super exciting. Got a few big things going on right now. We've got the race season has begun, so we will be on the road a bit. And my employment is ending um, in a good way. I'm taking early, what they're calling early retirement. And um, so the rest of this month, I won't even, I won't be doing a live. I may try to squeeze in a video, but we're gonna be on the road a lot. And I have um, some obligations at the office and before my last day on, on June 30. Okay, so there's a little bit. I'm gonna add some more Tahitian Tide. But you will hear from me, and if you're worried about missing out on anything, make sure you're on my newsletter, that you receive my newsletter. Be sure to check, check that out. I just sent out another one last night. Oh, the other thing that I, I must have set it down in the other room. Uh, the other thing that I forgot to mention is you have until the 23rd, which is, what is that, Thursday, I think, to sign up for Wisteria Wishes, my to-go class. And if you're not sure what that is, um, that is posted here on my Facebook page. I'm gonna put on just a little bit more. And if you're on my newsletter, you have received that information as well. And it's on my blog. So it's in lots of places for you to find me. All right, there's, good, look at all that saturation on there. Oh, I don't like that particular blending. Let's try that a little bit different there. Okay, what do you think? Do you like that? Kind of, kind of blotchy looking and that maybe looks a little dramatic but when you look at it like this it's not so bad it it's it's more subtle and as you can see it's going to dry considerably lighter I am going to close up these two ink pads for now I will use the Pacific Point again those inky brushes out of the way. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I'll grab another one for a clean surface to work with. Did you know that these are available in the catalog to, to purchase? They sure are. There we go. Now, because that ink is probably still wet, I'm gonna use my heat tool for just a second. It ought to dry super quick. And I'll point it away. I'm not gonna make you watch it, and I'm gonna put my voice close to the camera so that hopefully that you can hear me. Now my paper's curling a little bit. That didn't happen when I made my first card. That's okay. I will flatten it out. Oh, now it's, I moved my heat gun to the other side of the paper and now it's flattening out a bit. Well, that's good. All right. So now I'm gonna use a bone folder. And I'm going to see if I can flatten this out because I've got a little bit of stamping to do with Versamark ink and I want to make sure I'm working on a somewhat flat surface. 
as much as possible. It is completely and totally dry. Okay, let's see, I think I'm going to work with it like this. It is not quite flat yet. Hmm. I don't know why that didn't happen to me the first time. Maybe I let it dry more naturally. All right, we're going to take our chances. So I'm going to take an opportunity at this point to introduce a product that's coming out in the mini catalog. And it's a heat embossing kit. And this heat embossing kit has this tray, which I will show you how to use in a minute. It comes with an embossing buddy. It comes with a brush for removing excess debris. And I will show you how I use that. And then it's got these tweezers that are excellent for holding the paper while you're using the heat gun. I don't know how many times I've burned my fingers because I was holding the paper and the heat gun was just too close to my fingers. So the first thing I'm going to do with this kit, and it looks a little dirty because I've already used it. Um, used it with the same powder that I'm going to use today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my embossing buddy on my um, inked up piece of paper here. And what this, this has like talcum in it. And that talcum comes through, through the um, weave or the knit that's in this embossing buddy. And it removes the static so that when we stamp and then pour this powder on, the powder wherever it's not supposed to be will fall off. So I will show you what I mean. So I am going to rub it over the entire piece like that. See, nothing came off. Then I am going to stamp, I'm going to use the Versamark ink And the first thing I'm going to stamp is my thank you. I'm going to put my I'm going to stamp my sentiment first. And when I stamp this, there's an excellent chance you're not going to see it because this is clear ink. Let's see if I get this close enough. Can you Oh. Hmm. That didn't happen my first time either. Oh, it's because my, it's because my thinking about this, I ended up with a little halo, but there, I wanted to show you, see if you can see the stamp. Um, let's see, how am I going to, <laughs> if I do it from this angle, I have a better chance of not messing up my words. I'm gonna use my finger to try to remove that little halo. It looks like it's working. There we go, all right. Note to self to be more careful. Then I'm going to use the Versamark ink on my greenery. And then I'm gonna adjust myself so that I can see where my sentiment is. And I am going to do something about like that. So my sentiment is down here. Can you see my stamped image there? All right, closing up the Versamark. Going to, ooh, being clumsy. I'm going to go ahead and put my tweezers on here. I'm going to take my powder and I'm going to dump it everywhere that I believe I have ink plus further out. And I'm going to tap this, kind of shimmies everything into um, position. I 
I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to, I'm not used to using the tweezers for that yet, and I'm going to knock some excess powder off. All right, this is good. So now I'm going to come in with this little brush that they provided and I am going to remove that powder that was sticking where I didn't want it. There we go. Now I see a little bit more powder here. All right. So that's what it looks like before we heat emboss it. You, I'm not going to show you this right now um, on camera, but this unscrews and you turn this and it dumps right into your jar. I am going to move both of these away from where I'm heat embossing because I don't want it to uh, ruin that. I do see that I have some heat embossing powder here and I'm looking for something around me to pick it up with. because I don't want it on my, this is my new table. All right, that's better. So now I am gonna get those tweezers back out. And grab my heat gun and I am gonna hold it away and I'll bring it back into view um, a couple of times, but just so that I can keep talking to you. So as you are heating up with your heat tool, the embossing powder, it will go from being a powder form to a solid form and it will go from being a matte texture to being shiny. So you can see there's some shine, oops, there's some shine and there's some matte. See, it hasn't, hasn't completely, there we go. So here is the green, what I'm calling greenery that I've stamped in white, or heat embossed in white. Now I am heating up the sentiment. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, done, all done, that easy. Now one thing that I did notice is that these can leave a little bit of a shiny mark, um, but it does look like it's rubbing out with my finger. Okay, that's good. All right, next, next, next. I'm going to take that matting and I'm going to adhere this flat down to my mat. So I'm just gonna use multi-purpose adhesive. Hi, Sonia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, that's absolutely one of the, I know many of the people that watch me are um, demonstrators and so they aren't necessarily purchasing from me, but one of the ways that you can help my little business is by sharing. It helps grow my viewership, which is a big goal of mine right now. So thank you for that. Okay. I am adhering this down to a piece. Oh, what have I got going on here? To a piece of Tahitian Tide. Let's see if I can get that. Got some buckling going on. I'm gonna turn it over and give it a nice, a nice press. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. And then, there, Doesn't that look nice? How sharp is that? Then I am going to take some dimensionals, put them across the back. I'm gonna use, this is a smaller section. 
um, than I normally use, but I'm gonna go ahead, or um, normally work with, but I'm going to go ahead and use the same amount of dimensionals because I do have a little bit of warping going on. So I'm gonna try to <laughs> make it do what I want it to do. <laughs> goodness. I'm going to get the end result I wanted. All right, going to grab my card base, line up my edges, burnish my score line. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like my score line is slightly off, so I'm going to pull in my paper cutter and I'm going to use this ledge. Let's see, can you see it? I'm gonna use this ledge to hold both layers in place while I'm burnishing. There we go. Ta-da! Goodness, I did that a little too aggressively and with a twist. I love my take my pick tool. It is like my go-to for everything. I apply my gems with it. I remove my dimensional backs with it. A lot of times, before the um, that kit that I just showed you came out, if there was extra powder around something that I was heat embossing, before I ran it through the, the heat tool, I would use this clay tip to pick up the grains of um, embossing powder. So that's another, another thing that I like this for. All right, I'm going to just center this right on this card. I mean, it would be it would be cute turned and such too, but I am kind of following my inspiration card. So that is in place. Before I put my embellishments and ribbon on the outside, I'm going to go ahead and decorate the inside. Now, my original card I did not use a mat on the inside and I really wish I had. So I'm still going to stamp it the same way that I did, but I'm gonna use a pop color mat and I think it's gonna make it prettier. Sometimes we have to make a mistake before we get it just right. So I'm gonna use the Pacific Point. I am going to, I am looking for, I'm guessing I've covered, covered up my chamois. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I took that Versamark ink off of my stamp. I think I already had, but just in case. Inking up my stamp. Oh, I like that a lot. Sometimes I use a DSP or something to decorate my in, inside card, but this stamp set doesn't have dies and does not have a DSP. It is a standalone stamp set. It doesn't even have sentiments. All right. So I am now going to adhere that on here. See, it makes it just pop much nicer. But then again, I like mats underneath all my stuff. Not everybody does. Now for the embellishments, kind of funny. I'm using the pool party sheer ribbon for the bow. There's no pool party on here, but I think it, it goes just fine. Oops. Let's move that up a little bit. All right, I'm going to turn that over and give that a little press. Get that nice and flat. 
and I'm just going to use my multi-purpose adhesive across the back. Whoops, that's all right. I'm just about done with that sheet of paper anyway. And apply this to the inside of the card. So there's my interior, there's my exterior. Now let's go ahead and finish up by decorating. So I'm just going to apply, there's my inspiration card, or not my inspiration card, this was my inspiration card. From a long time ago. Let's see, am I in the, yes I am. And I'm using my handy dandy bow maker. I just don't have to think when I use this. It just goes so fast. Grabbing my paper snips. Looks like I got a little bit of ink on here. I'm gonna have to clean that off. My friend Ron in Tri-Cities makes these for me. When somebody joins my team, this is the one of the things that I give them is these bow makers, he makes them on his 3D printer. All right, I'm going to apply that with a mini glue dot, but before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and trim my ends. I like to kind of hold them in place so that I can make them even. No, I don't always like them even, but I often do, that is <laughs> one of my traits. And I'm looking for my mini glue dots. There they are. I moved, when, th when my camera looks like it's a little in the wrong spot on my desktop, and so when I realized that, I moved a few things off of my desk. Okay, it looks like I could have cut those just a little shorter, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm not, I don't mind them being off the edge, but too much off the edge can look messy. You're getting a lot of insight into my personality now. <laughs> All right, and then for these dots that I used along the greenery, I used these glossy dots assortment that are new in the annual catalog. So... Looks like I did get my ink a bit more saturated on this one than that one. So I'm gonna use five dots. I like to use them in odd numbers. Here's another use for my take my pick tool, take your pick tool is the name of it, is I like to use that clay tip to pick up my gems with. I'm gonna use one of these small, the smaller ones up here. And a medium. Right about there. Actually, I'd like that to sit a little bit closer. There we go. Didn't need to be exact, I just didn't want it to be look like it was floating off in space. I'm gonna use one of these bigger dots right in here. Another small dot there, and a medium down in here. And there we go. My friends, we have finished our card for the day. So, again, the big takeaway today, other than the card that I just showed you, is tomorrow is free shipping on orders of $75 or more. All right? I thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you all well and peace and happiness. And I send you away with hugs. Have a great day.